Hello everyone and welcome to my channel Code with Vinay. Today we are going to write a program to generate lucky numbers in Java. This problem was asked in ISC Computer Science Practical in the year 2001. Let us first understand what are lucky numbers. Lucky numbers are generated for a given natural number and let's say we want to generate lucky numbers for n is equal to 10. So what we'll do is first we'll take first 10 natural numbers that is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 and 10. Then we'll start cancelling out every second number from the list. So 2 will be cancelled out, 4 will be cancelled out, 6 will be cancelled out, 8 will be cancelled out and 10 will be cancelled out. After eliminating every second number, we'll make a list of the remaining numbers. That is 1, 3, 5, 7, 9. Now what we'll do is we'll cancel out every third number from the list. That is only 5 will get cancelled out. 1, 2, 3. And then we'll again make a list of remaining numbers. So we'll get 1, 3, 7 and 9. And now we'll cancel out every fourth number. So there is only one fourth number that is 9. We'll again make a list of remaining numbers and now we are left with 1, 3, 7. Now our objective is to cancel out every fifth number but we don't have that many numbers left. So whatever numbers are left now that is 1, 3 and 7. These are the lucky numbers for n is equal to 10. I would demonstrate an easy method for generating lucky numbers in Java. The emphasis would be more on elegance than clever code and therefore we would be using an extra array to reduce the number of loops in the program. So now it's time to code. The first thing we need to do is to create a class called lucky numbers. So class lucky numbers. Next we need to create a method called main. This method will be responsible for calling our method to generate lucky numbers and pass the value of n for which the lucky numbers are to be generated. So we'll create our main. Now let's say the method to generate and return the lucky numbers is called get lucky numbers. So we'll say get lucky numbers and we'll pass the value of n. So let's say we want to do it for 10. I'm not going to enter the values because that will waste a lot of time. So I'm directly calling the method with the value 10. And this method is going to return the lucky numbers. And since multiple numbers are to be returned, we'll return an array of integers. So to hold the answer, we'll say int a is equal to get lucky numbers. Now our answer is stored in the array A so we have to print the array. We can either print the array by taking a loop or we can print it directly by using arrays.toString. I'll use the shorter approach right now and that is I want to use arrays.toString. So I'll say import java.util.asterisk and then we'll go down and we'll say system.out.println arrays to string and then I'll display the array A. Next we'll create our get lucky numbers method. For that I'll say public static. We want to return an array so we'll say int box bracket and then I'll give the name of the method that is get lucky numbers and this method will be accepting the value of n. Now, you might be thinking that this is too much of work. Why don't we print the answer directly from inside the method? But please understand it's always a good practice to return the answer because in that case, if the user wants to print it, he'll print it. Otherwise, he might be using it for, let's say, further calculations as well. So when we return an answer, we enable the user to use the result for further calculations. He may print it or he may use it for further calculation and that's always a good idea. The first thing we need to do in the get lucky numbers method is to create an array to store the numbers from 1 to n. So we'll say int a is equal to new int 
and the size of the array will be equal to the size of n. Next, we'll need one more array to store the numbers which are lucky, that is numbers which survive the elimination process. And this array will be initially empty. And this is also the array which will be holding our answer, which will be returning towards the end of the method. Next, we need to iterate through the array and assign each number to the array A. And for that, we'll take a loop. We'll say for int i is equal to 0, i is less than a dot length. And then we'll say i plus plus. And then the zeroth element should store 1, the first element should store 2, and so on. So we'll say that a of i is equal to i plus 1. Now we need to create a variable to store the offset, that is the position at which the elimination is to be done. The offset will be used to determine which numbers are lucky. So we'll say int offset is equal to 1. We will continue to increment the offset until it is greater than or equal to the length of the array A. So we'll say while, please understand the offset is starting from 1, we need to cancel out every second number. So we'll first need to increase the offset and then we'll do the needful. So while plus plus offset is less than or equal to the length of the array, that is a dot length, our loop will run. Inside the while loop, we need to create a new array to store the lucky numbers. The size of the array lucky will be equal to the length of the array A minus the number of numbers that are eliminated. And the number of numbers that are eliminated is equal to the length of the array A divided by the offset. So let's create the array. We'll say lucky is equal to new int and then we'll give the size. So the size will be as discussed a dot length minus the number of numbers which are eliminated that is a dot length divided by offset. Next we need to iterate through the array a and add the numbers that are not divisible by the offset to the array lucky. So let's iterate through the array. So we'll say for int i is equal to 0, i is less than a dot length, and then we'll say i plus plus. Inside we'll say if the number that is i plus 1 is divisible by the offset that is this if it is not equal to zero then it's lucky and if it is lucky we'll store it in the array lucky now we need one more variable to keep track of the index so let's say i call the variable c and then i'll say c plus plus is equal to a of i and then we also need to declare this variable c. So I'll do it over here only because we don't need it outside the loop. So int c is equal to 0. Finally, we need to assign the array lucky to the array a so that on the next iteration, the numbers will be eliminated from the remaining numbers. And for that, we'll just go outside the loop. And over here, we'll say a is equal to lucky. Here I would like to stress that the array A is the array where we are doing the eliminations and the array lucky is holding the lucky numbers and after each elimination our array lucky becomes the array A for next elimination. And now our program is complete and it's time to verify if the program is working or not. Recall that for n is equal to 10, the lucky numbers should be 1, 3 and 7. So let us run the program now. I'll say run Java and there we are, we are getting our answer 1, 3 and 7. And that's it, you can now generate lucky numbers in Java. I hope you found this video helpful and if you have any questions or comments, 
please leave them down below. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Till then, happy coding. Your feedback is valuable to me. I want to make sure that my videos are clear and helpful. You can follow me on the internet on any one or all of these channels.